There are many millions of asteroids in our solar system. We've looked at them, flown by them, orbited them, and even taken samples from them. It's time to step up our game and steal one. Hey there, space cowboys. Trace here for DNews, and NASA reckons it's about time to get Earthers an asteroid of our very own. For study, of course. Yeehaw. Asteroids are massive hulks of rock and metals floating around in the solar system. They're leftovers from the formation of planets and moons, with the major concentrations appearing in the aptly named main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The Kuiper belt beyond Neptune also contains millions of objects, but it's so far away that it's not important for an asteroid retrieval mission, which is what we're talking about today. But look, if we want an asteroid for our very own, how does one go about it? First, you have to pick one to go get. Unlike how it looks in Estarguars, asteroids are not actually close together in the asteroid belt. We can't just fly over and survey the area. They're one to three million kilometers apart on average. NASA hasn't picked yet, but they hinted a good candidate might be 2008 EV-5. This asteroid mostly orbits between Earth and Venus, so it's not too far to travel. Two recent papers in Icarus studied its composition and shape with various telescopes, and as it's a type C asteroid, we know it's carbonaceous, rocky, and metallic. NASA's plan is still under development, but the mission, called ARM, Asteroid Redirect Mission, is pretty simple. A robot would fly up to 2008 EV-5 and land on the asteroid, analyze the surface, and, in the greatest space heist in NASA history, grab a multi-ton boulder, kind of like that crappy crane game at the arcade, and skedaddle. Once back in orbit around EV-5 with the boulder on lock, the ARM robot will test a gravity tractor theory. Basically, because gravity exists everywhere, the mass of the robot plus boulder would attract 2008 EV-5 and slowly bend its orbit. Keep that in mind, because we're gonna come back to it. After a few tests, the robot will hightail it back to drop off the boulder in the moon's orbit for study. Once it's there, we can use the new SLS and Orion spacecraft to practice landing on it, taking off, and eventually could send people to spacewalk on it, all in preparation and practice for future Mars missions. Sidebar, ARM is also gonna use a new solar electric propulsion system. It uses solar panels to gather energy, then shoots ions out a nozzle, which slowly accelerates it. Like, really slowly. Grabbing an asteroid might just seem like bragging rights, but there's so much more than just learning how to do it. The Apollo, Shuttle, and International Space Station missions are all called Earth-reliant, meaning they need Earth to resupply. They can only last a few days to a few months on their own. If we could head to Mars from an asteroid and not Earth's surface, it would save incredible amounts of fuel and allow for longer missions into deep space. Plus, a human-explored asteroid could tell us a lot about the formation of the solar system, what kind of mineral existed at the time and could provide a source of commercial mining that avoids the destruction of our own planet's resources. And on a darker note, testing the gravity tractor to tug it off course is really, really important because one is coming. Not right now, but it is a statistical inevitability. It's happened many times in the past and it will happen again in the future. An asteroid will eventually aim for Earth. So to get ready for an asteroid impact eventuality, we'll need to understand the threat, but also be prepped for a response. Blowing it up ain't really a good idea, sorry Bruce, but tugging it out of an intersecting orbit, maybe. Not as sexy, but better. Funnily enough, NASA and FEMA are already practicing in case of an asteroid impact. The two agencies recently held their third emergency planning session for possible asteroid impacts. They want to suss out how government agencies could handle this kind of natural disaster, because unlike, say, a hurricane, earthquake, or epidemic that strikes without warning, asteroids are a slow burn. We can know months before it's going to hit. And once impact reaches 100% certainty, aside from societal breakdown, what do we do? It's an interesting thought experiment. Guys, if you love space, and you probably do because you're watching this, check out Seeker VR. We sent a weather balloon to the edge of Earth. It's in VR, it's super cool. And if you're wondering why we don't just use tractor beams to move asteroids around, it's because we've only invented a couple. A tractor beam applies attraction force, or repulsion force, using only light energy. Pushing is easy to envision, sort of like a fire hose, but instead of water, it's spraying photons. Let us know down in the comments if you have any ideas of what you would do if you found out an asteroid was coming and you only had six months, and make sure you subscribe for more more D news.